back at it, day three in the books, last day of practice. Just talk about uh, the the event as a whole and just kind of your experience so far at the Senior Bowl. Yeah, I mean, since since we got in, it's been nonstop. You know, yeah. uh, meeting the various teams and mm-hmm. practice meetings, all sorts of cool events. Um, so it's 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 been crazy, but it's been unbelievable. Sure. I mean, I, I'm so blessed to have this opportunity, and it's been better than I thought it would be. From just day one to now, just they throw you in the fire. A lot going on, like you mentioned. Uh, your comfort level now, do you feel a little bit better going in? I know it's, it's tough not playing with these guys and getting a new install defensively, right? Yeah, you know, every, every day you feel more and more comfortable, but that's part of this is they want to see how fast you can pick up on stuff. So, yeah. um, you know, it takes extra studying, extra preparation, all that kind of stuff. But day three looked a lot better than day one, that's for sure. No doubt. Um, I think some people may consider you a little bit of a tweener right now. Mm-hmm. The end, stand-up line. Where do you feel best at? Uh, if I was going to maximize your skill set, where do you like to play? At? Yeah, you know, I think uh, just with what I've done in college, um, I think right now I'm most comfortable off the edge, you know, mm-hmm. playing in an outside linebacker role, being able to um, pass rush, playing coverage, all that kind of stuff. But to be honest with you, I think I can play in the box too. I think I can pick that up. Um, but it, it'd be something that I'd have to develop. Do you have a, a, a plane weight that you feel best at? Where are you at now? And, and, and you know, going to the combine, are you going to try to bulk up or, or lean down and get a little quicker? What's your game plan? Yeah, well, that? you know, no matter what, I want to make sure that I'm as fast as possible because mm-hmm. speed kills. So, um, you know, I, I think that I'm going to start out with the 240 weight that I've been okay. um, and, and roll from there. You know, if I can put on five more pounds of muscle and keep the same speed, then I'll do that. But if yeah. not, then I'll stick around the 240. I, I heard hand technique was something that you've really tried to focus on and mm-hmm. improve. Um, outside of that, what else did you want to kind of work on throughout this pre-draft process and, and kind of show scouts and coaches you're getting better at? I'd say my coverage. Um, you know, I just didn't rep it mm-hmm. almost at all in, in college. Yeah. So did it occasionally in games, but um, but I've been able to practice that out training and was able to get some reps of that this week. Yeah, no doubt. You, you talked about college. Huge jump for you, sophomore to junior season. Uh, take us through that. You know, what do you kind of – uh, uh, put the catalyst uh, of that, that that you had that big improvement from one year to the next? Just work and dedication, you know, uh, mastering my craft. And mm-hmm. that's one thing I love about football is no matter what, I can always get better at something. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, it, it keeps me busy. I always have something, have something to work on. Got to talk about PJ here for a second. What he's done with that program is, is nothing short of uh, just incredible, really. What's his secret sauce, man? What makes him PJ Fleck and makes him so good? Um, I'd say his, his integrity and um, what you see, Coach Fleck, is who he is all the time, you know, mm-hmm. and that's what makes our culture so special. Um, it's it's fundamentally sound as a culture. Like, it's it's rooted deep. It's done the right way, and it's not going anywhere. So all the success you saw this year, that's just the beginning. It's going to keep building from there. A lot of people are about to run through a wall after you say that. You end up, what, 10th, I believe, top 10 program. Yep. Talk about that season specifically, a lot of big games, Penn State, you name it. How magical and how fun was that just to play on, on such a winning team? Yeah, I mean, it was special. You know, all I know is that I left the program better than when I got there. And, you know, that was my whole goal. I wanted to make Minnesota as great as possible. That's why I committed there. And so, um, you know, our, our senior class being able to leave that way was really special.